All right, time to start another project. I got to make some room. I'm starting to fill up everything, so I got to start cycling through this stuff. So we got CPUs, just the backside. Um, now these are all pinless. And let's see, I, I just have a handful. It's nothing, nothing crazy. This is more so uh, going to be just a fun little, fun little refine. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go crazy with measurements. You know, it's it's really not a whole bunch there. Uh, that's my first go around, so I think I'm just gonna enjoy it, have some fun with it, and I'm actually really excited because this should fit perfectly, and it fits perfectly right inside a hundred milliliter beaker or a thousand milliliter beaker. Excuse me. Get an air bubbler in there should make life a whole bunch easier so let me get this set up i'll get everything in there put my ap in there and uh well i can't say ap well it is ap but it's uh copper copper two chloride uh but i will have to put a little freshener up of some hydrochloric in there just to make sure we're good and of course get my air bubbler set up just like that we're ready to rock we're gonna let that sit on for i don't know if this top's gonna sit on there very nicely we'll have to figure that out but anyways we're gonna be ready, I topped it off. I filled up like, let's say, uh, 700 mils of copper two chloride, and then I introduced about 100, 200 extra uh, hydrochloric. So we should see some gold floating around here soon. And uh, yeah, we'll have some foils to refine. Let's do a close up here quick. So we've got all the foils. Well, I can't say we've got all of them, but we've got quite a bit floating. And let's see here. Uh, if I spin this around a little bit, I don't know. Let's see here. If I can get out of the light a little, I don't know if you can see all the little specks in there. So let's uh, get this filtered out and uh, see what we got for gold. All right. So let's get filtering out this solution here. Go ahead and pull this out nice and slowly. This works pretty slick actually, it fits right in the beaker. So we're finished filtering here. I have to rinse all this stuff off, all this gold flakes off. Well, the bottom of the beaker first off, and of course the uh, CPUs themselves. I don't want to add any water to this because this solution is still good, and I don't want to dilute it at all. So I'm actually going to pour this into my bottle, uh, Mississippi Prepper actually sent me two of these. So I'm gonna convert this one into AP solution. We're just gonna dump this filtered AP in here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and rinse everything off with our AP, so I'm not diluting anything and uh, causing more waste. And let's see here. I think we're gonna go, hopefully this fits. Yeah. Close enough. Now, this will never be used for distilled water again. I'll make sure that I keep it for AP solutions like this. Next time I come down, I'll make sure to bring a Sharpie so I can write that on here. 
Oh, it works. I just sprayed myself. <clears throat> Alright, we'll get this back up here. All those beautiful foils. See if I get it. I've been, all I do is watch this stuff. It's so fascinating. I'm sure my wife is uh, super annoyed with it and the amount of <laughs> amount of YouTube videos I watch. Whole bunch more there. Let's see. I should have saved. Next time I drill this out too, I'm going to save a batch or save a spot where I can actually pour this stuff out of. I'm just going to go ahead and spray a little bit in here. We're running on E. And then the fun part. Here's what we got so far. I'll make sure to uh, do the rest of this so uh, I don't eat the time up. All right, well, we're done filtering. I got my gloves on and we're gonna go ahead and re-pour this in here. See if I can get everything to cooperate. And we're just gonna do this basically rinse and repeat until it's all said and done. It's gonna take more time, but it's gonna save a lot of waste. So I'll make sure that uh, I bring you back uh, when I've got everything rinsed off and we go into Aqua Regia. Here, let me just show you a quick minute of what we've got so far. Looking good. All right. So I do have uh, some of these guys that have some stubborn, stubborn uh, gold flakes on there. So I'm actually kind of in the background. I'm just going to run these through again. Um, but we're going to continue with these. So we'll just let that filter, finishing filtering, and uh, then we'll start processing this stuff. These little bit of gold foils that I uh, did last go around, I'm going to go ahead and do them with that. Not going to be much, but beats getting them back out of the filters, right? So we're done filtering out. So what I'm going to do here uh, to not dilute this, because I do want to rinse that off a little bit, get some of those base metals out before we go to Aqua Regia, is I'm gonna go ahead and pour this solution off. Let's see here. Back in here. Get this started again. Go ahead and put this on. And rinse and repeat here. And there we go. I'll just do that a couple of times. Uh, with the distilled water now this is going to be waste solution here so we are creating a little bit with the rinses but uh, good thing is we kept our AP ready to roll we didn't dilute it at all and uh, yeah we'll be good to go all the gold foils 
It looks like a lot, but it's not going to be much. Don't get your hopes up. These little foils stick to everything. So make sure you do your uh, due diligence when rinsing because it gets everywhere. Up on the sides, they stick to the edge of that, uh, that Buckner funnel where the filter would be. And uh, obviously when you're taking stuff apart, you're touching the inside and they get stuck to your gloves, all that fun stuff. All right, now we're gonna go into some aqua regia here. Actually, hold on. I want to see if I can get rid of some of that water. Well, that's not going to work. All right. Well, let's go into Aqua Regia here. See if we have the same effect. It's going to probably require a little bit more... Uh, Hydrochloric acid. We'll see if this works though. And we're just going to start with three. Alright, let's let it eat. Alright, I'd have to say that this reaction is done and over with. Let's see what we got working with here. I still see some material in the bottom. Ooh. Left hand goes, left glove goes on the left hand. There we go. Let's see what we got working with here. Alright, so let's see. Here, I'm going to rearrange this a little bit. Alright. So I don't see any gold left in here. I think we're good in that department. Well, well, this is hot. Let's go ahead and add some uh, sulfuric acid to this. Go ahead and turn the heat plate off. All right. Oh yeah. Look at all that lead. Wild, huh? And that is why we add sulfuric acid to these solutions. Alright, I imagine there's going to be some silver chloride in there. So I'm going to run up and get some ice. Let's see. Alright, incoming ice, there we go, we'll let that solution cool, and uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and prep some uh, ferrous sulfate for the drop. Alright, let's start filtering this bad boy off. So look at all the silver chloride and lead uh, sulfate that we got in there. Tons of it. There's all the fun stuff. We don't want any of that in our gold. I did put some uh, sulfamic acid in as well. Just did a couple of, or not even a couple of scoops, a little bit of, a couple of drops. Didn't have any reaction, so. Probably should have recorded that. All right, well, 
I wanted to show you the goods in there. Now we get to see that beautiful gold solution. All right, well, I'll come back when this is all filtered and we do the drop. All right, so I know this setup is a little overkill for the ferrous sulfate. I actually ordered um, a couple different size flasks. I think it's 100, 150, and 200, or 100, 200, 250, something like that. And then a little glass funnel. So I don't have to use this huge contraption when I uh, start filtering out my ferrous sulfate. Because it is awesome, I really enjoy using this stuff. It, it seems to be, you know, the, the smell is not there compared to SMB. And, uh, you know, with just a couple of hydrochloric baths, I can clean the rest of the, the iron that's in there. And, I mean, it, it, it looks pretty good when, uh, when I'm done with it. I don't know. You can tell me. But we've got this beautiful crystal clear gold solution ready for this ferrous sulfate. This will be an excellent test for it, too. There you go. We'll let this settle and uh, pick it up when we're uh, all settled. All right. And just like that, we have some settled gold here. Let me see. I'll get that out of the way. Not a whole bunch, as we expected. But, uh, hey, gold is gold, right? Well, let's get to the... Uh, I'm not going to do like a full cleaning on this. I'll just rinse it off maybe with some distilled water and um, uh, dry it up. We'll save it for later. Um, when I start to accumulate a little bit more from, I've got a, a couple different miscellaneous deals that I have to, uh, that I'm trying to like kind of catch up on. And uh, some of them I'll record, some of them I won't. You have to make some more space, you know. Anyways, so we'll get this going, get it all kind of cleaned up, I guess. And, you know, cut, like I said, a couple of rinses and then uh, we'll dry it up. It's going to be black, 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 black. And uh, I'll save it. We'll clean it up when I get a bunch. Well, I can't say a bunch more, but a little more. At least make the, the process worthwhile, right? All right. So, this stuff is pretty thin. So, um... I'm not even going to do any rinses on it. I think I'm just going to evaporate this water off and then um, we're going to re-dissolve it again and uh, re-precipitate it. See if we can get them to be in uh, a little bigger, chunkier form. What is going on, Silver Squad? Man, that was a great refining. Uh, I know it's small stuff, just a little bit of small stuff, but it all adds up, right? Can't, uh, can't forget about the small stuff. And uh, we got to make some more room for, for other stuff. So perfect time to do that. Nice little series. Maybe we'll do a, a, a video of refining everything um, and then get a measurement off of all the goods. I know it's not going to be like a, a good yield or anything because we've got uh, so many different little experiments going on. But, you know, this is for the average refiner that uh, maybe uh, maybe is stuck inside for the winter and just wants to enjoy a little bit, you know, of, uh, of fun. So... Well, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.